Hello, welcome to the My Tool Belt. This is Michael. Today we got a request to go over the crease tool, which you can find under the polygon menu set here, uh, module, animation polygons. Choose that and you have edit mesh crease tool down here. So to demonstrate, I'm going to create a polygon sphere under the create menu, polygon primitives, sphere. Make a sphere like so. And then I'm going to select a couple of these edge loops just for demonstration purposes and scale them out like this. I'll hide the grid for now. Okay, so when you select a polygon mesh, you can hit the one, two, and three keys. Here's two, here's three, to increase and decrease the smoothness. So the one key is your lowest resolution polygon surfaces. The two key kind of gives you a mid range. You can see your low res cage around your higher res mesh. And three is your high res mesh. So it's one, two, three. And so that's going to be important to see the effect of the crease tool. So let's go back to number one here, the low res mesh. And I'm going to select this top edge loop that I've extended out here and go to Edit Mesh Crease Tool Options. And because it's a tool, the options show up over here on the left for me anyway. I think that's, that's the default setting. I'm going to hit Reset Tool. So we don't have a lot of options here, but the first one is Mode, and we have two options for that absolute and relative and then we have this selection uh, setting which is by default unchecked so first we have absolute mode and one thing you'll notice whenever I have the crease tool active I have this message in the middle of the screen select components to crease then drag the middle mouse button to edit crease value if you don't see that message what you'll need to do is go to display heads up display tool message right here and check that box if it's not checked already and so anytime you use any kind of tool in Maya and you have tool message selected it will give you a little on screen instruction on how to use that tool so select components to crease which I've done and then drag middle mouse button to edit crease value so we'll hit the middle mouse button and drag and so while I'm dragging slowly, you can see that my message has changed to tell me my crease mode is absolute. My crease value is changing based on how I'm middle mouse dragging. And then it tells me the maximum value of my crease is 2. So I can go from 0 up to 2. Now my value can go beyond 2, but any value beyond 2 will have no additional effect. So 2 is the maximum value that will take effect using the crease tool. And again I'm just middle mouse dragging left and right. You can also see the bottom left of my screen. It might be hard to see with the uh, compression of video or something but I'm getting the same message in the bottom left of my screen. So if I don't have the tool message appearing in the middle of the view panel it will also appear down here on the, in the help bar. So if I middle mouse click and drag again hopefully you can see that the same message it says crease tool colon crease mode absolute crease value is changing based on what I'm doing here and maximum values too. So I'm going to go all, all the way up to two or even beyond just there we go and I'll let go and my message comes back since I'm still in the crease tool I'm going to hit the W key to go back to my move tool and you see I have this hard uh, should say thick line up here where I creased that's so Maya is displaying that you, these edges have been creased with the crease tool and so it's easy to tell. If you want to get rid of that you can go to display polygons and down here is crease edges. If you click that that display of the thick line will go away. Then if you want to come back let's go to display polygons crease edges again and it comes back. So with this crease active I'm going to hit the 3 key and you can see now the result of that crease. 
this edge over here is much more round than, or so to say, this edge loop is much more rounded than this one is much sharper with that crease active. I'm going to select my polysphere. I'm still in the uh, three, the uh, uh, display mode, showing the smooth surface. I'm going to hit Control A to go through the attributes, and you can see all these tabs for different history items that are affecting my sphere. I'm going to choose the poly crease one attribute tab, and you'll see uh, uh, here under edge crease. If you increase this and scroll down, you can see that all these each of these, these boxes are referencing an edge that has been creased and the value of that crease. So in here you can actually go in here and change that value after the fact by clicking, you can just click and drag click and drag and just select multiple input boxes and then type in a number, say 1.5 hit enter. So now half of these edges have been taken down to a value of 1.5 and the other half are 2 well 2.21 but 2 is the only thing taking effect so I should see a little bit of a variance and you can see right there you can also change the crease value like a slider if I select one of these crease names or the input box and middle mouse click and drag in my scene you can see over here on the left how I can in real time adjust that crease I'm going to undo that I'm going to undo the the change so now they're all the same value so I'm going to go down here to this other row I'll go back to my low poly cage activate my crease tool again and first I'm going to select this row of edges I'm actually going to decrease half of my selection or deselect I should say so now I have half of this edge loop selected crease tool with relative selected minimize mouse click and drag I'm going to go up to a value of say 1 if I hit the 3 key over here, you can also see the difference. So these edges that are kind of poking out here have a crease value of 1, and these edges over here on this side have not been creased yet. So now with the, I'm going to select the entire ring now. So half of these edges have been creased, the other half have not been. So what I'm getting at is that with the absolute value if I change the absolute and then click and drag you can see that all the edges have equalized so they're all using the same values so absolute overwrites the current crease value with whatever value you're adding now let me undo that so you can see that I have two different values here the right side have has been creased already the left side has not been choose relative increase left click and drag and the values that have already been established are just being added to or subtracted from based on my uh, direction. So the difference between absolute and relative. Absolute will overwrite the current crease value while relative will add to or subtract from the current crease value with whatever uh, your middle mouse click drag dragging will do. So absolute relative. And then the last option or last uh, setting is the selection extend to creased components. And that's literally if I don't have any creases selected, I'm going to go back to uh, the low poly cage just so it's a little easier. I hit control A to get rid of the attributes so I have more uh, screen space here. Without any edges selected at all, I can go to my crease tool, which again is under edit mesh crease tool. And with, select, with this selection box unchecked, if I want to select these creased edges by click, there we go, and select one, you'll see that I only selected that one edge. But if I check this box and then select a creased edge, it will select the entire creased edge. So you don't have to 
try to select them each edge one at a time. If you want to change the current creased value, you can simply check this box and then select one of the creased edges and it will automatically extend your selection to all of the creased components that are adjacent. So I'm going to hit the three key to go back to my smooth view and I'm going to select this edge loop which has not been creased yet just so you can see that you can see in real time go back to reset my tools go back to absolute value if I just middle click and drag in real time you can see the effect so you don't have to guess you can go to your smooth view and crease the edges to get the look you're looking for and then you're done and I want to show you also the main reason to use crease as opposed to a hard edge because I can select this edge loop and go to normals harden edge I go to mesh smooth and then in my smooth options here I now go over the smooth command in another video don't worry about that but there's a keep hard edge turn that on you can see that the hard edge is very sharp so if you don't want quite so sharp of a hard edge but you still want it to be uh, not quite as smooth you can use the crease value from 0 to 2 and adjust this creasing so it's not quite so sharp it's so like this edge loop up here has the highest value of a crease which is 2 and comparing it to the hardened edge down here you can see this is razor sharp compared to this just being a little bit, a little bit pointier than these others. You can also create crease sets which let me demonstrate that and create another polygon sphere and I'm going to select an edge loop just kind of scale it out some and I'm going to crease it make sure my settings are reset Middle mouse drag, I'm going to go to value of set 2, doesn't matter. I'm going to create another one over here. Crease it and say go to value of 1 ish. Alright, so this first uh, edge loop has been creased to 2, this edge loop has increased to 1. So if you want to easily select these uh, sets later, when you say you have a whole bunch of them, let's say you're making a character or a robot or something, and you you have creases all over the place. If I go to my crease tool and choose the extend to crease components selection method, and choose one of these edge loops like so, I can go to close this, go to edit mesh, crease sets and then I can create a crease set and in the options you can give this set a name so let's just say for example this is the eyelid of something lid and create and then I can select this edge loop and go with it selected go to edit mesh crease sets and you see I have now eyelid here in my list create a new crease set and let's just call this one uh, I don't know ear, I don't know, whatever, and hit create. So now I have two crease sets created. If we go to edit mesh, crease sets, ear and eyelid, I can choose one and it will automatically select that creased uh, edge loop that I have set to that crease set. I can go to uh, window outliner, and you can see here I have default crease data set. If I extend this you can see I have the two sets here and underneath them are all the components that have been added to that set and you can hold shift and select them all here in this way but it's probably easiest just to go to edit mesh crease set ear eyelid and so forth and then the last thing I really talk about regarding creases over here in the channel box you have poly crease one the only thing in here is the operation which just has a pull down menu of you can crease or remove and if you have a whole lot of different poly creases going on you can say remove all and this just kind of turns the crease on and off which if I uh, 
go to my smooth mode here. Poly crease right now is turned off. I can turn it on. Or turn it off. Easy as that. And I think that pretty much settles crease. Uh, thanks again for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you have any other suggestions, I'm definitely happy to do them. Uh, thanks again for your time. Please feel free to subscribe or like, comment. I'm always open to it. Thanks again, guys.